I'm DP Blake Brown, and I'd like to introduce to you MoveCam's single, dual, and three-axis wireless lens control systems. It allows you to quickly and precisely control the focus, iris, and zoom on your lens. The system is robust, responsive, and easy to operate. In this video, I'll show you how to set it up, what the different features are, and how to expand it for different modules. This configuration is great for shots with a lot of movement. It gets rid of cables, so you're not limited by cable length. The system uses 2.4 gigahertz frequencies with a range of 600 feet from handset to receiver. The three axis kit comes with three motors, the MCS-1 OLED touchscreen remote, and the receiver unit. The MoveCam single axis unit comes with the SCU-1 remote control, one UM-3 motor, and the MRS-1 receiver unit. If you select the dual axis system, it will also come with the SCU-1 remote, as well as the ZSU-1 zoom module, two UM-3 motors, one MRS-1 receiver, as well as the MDZ receiver. These kits come in a hard-shelled, sturdy case, and there's room for extra modules. The whole system's modular. If you wanna start small and then build up, that's fine. If you wanna get it all in one go, that works too. Now I'm gonna set up the MoveCam single axis system. I've only got one motor, so even though I could have fixed it to the iris, the zoom, or the focus, I'm gonna go with the focus. All I do is slide it on my 19 millimeter rod, match up the teeth, and then give it a couple twists. If I use 15 millimeter rods instead of 19 millimeter, it comes with a handy adapter. All right, then I'm gonna put the receiver to the back of the camera. Same thing, just slide it right on the rod, tighten it up, you plug in the motor to the MOTF port, then you plug in the power cord to the M bus outlet, plug in my D-tap right into the battery, hit the power button, good to go. Because of the modular design, it's easy to convert this into the dual access system. Just slide the motor back, fix another motor. The next step is to take the MDZ receiver and attach it to the MRS-1 receiver. Then I want to attach the motor fixed to the zoom into the MOTZ outlet. And I attach the motor that's fixed to the focus into the MOTF outlet. The zoom module comes with this little remote. I can add the zoom module to my existing SCE1 remote. I just plug it in the top and screw it in. I'm gonna go ahead and add the third axis. I could put my third motor here on the left side, but in some circumstances, it gets a little crowded or the gears might be a little close together. It's no problem to just go to the other side of the camera and fix it there. Once I've fixed the iris motor, I'm just gonna flip the camera around where I've already attached the MDI receiver. I'm gonna plug it right in, power it on, and I'm good to go. The MCS-1 remote has an OLED industrial touchscreen that shows up in bright light very easily. You can see what channel you're on, on the remote, as well as on the receiver. I can use the MCS-1 remote to control multiple functions simultaneously. I use the wheel to control my focus, the slider to control my iris, and the button to control my zoom. The SCU-1 remote for the single axis system is similar but more compact. It's got a readout for the status of your battery, the channel that you're using, the record status, and a focus percentile. All three systems feature automatic lens calibration, easy range limit setup, and can be adapted to a variety of lenses. When I fix my motors to a new lens, the first thing I want to do is calibrate it for that lens. It's as easy as holding down the calibrate button for three seconds. With the MCS-1 remote, I just hold down this blue button for three seconds, and it calibrates automatically. A really great function of this device is the speed and efficiency that you can set lens limits. You just pick a focal point, push the limit button, set your other point, hit the limit button again, and it locks your range between those two points so that you don't over pull or under pull. With the MCS-1 remote, I simply select a point, hit the button on the top of the remote, select another point, hit the button on the top of the remote again, and it restricts the control to between the two points. If I need to clear and reset the marks, I just hit the button a third time. Here's my subject. As she moves back and forth through the frame, I adjust the focal plane, keeping her sharp the entire time. I can zoom in and recompose my shot, and then use a focus wheel to maintain sharpness throughout the entire motion. If you wanted to get creative, you could simultaneously slow zoom in while pulling focus. With a single axis remote, I can pull focus as fast as I want to. MoveCam has developed a sophisticated automatic focus system that plugs in seamlessly to their other lens control systems. 
The automatic follow focus kit comes with these components. One, MAF-1 sensor unit. This is a highly precise infrared beam that detects the distance from your subject to the camera. One, MAF-1 display unit. This gives you a heads up readout of the distance from your subject to the camera. I'm going to attach the display unit. I'm going to put the sensor unit on top. This way it has a clear shot between the sensor unit and my subject. I plug in the sensor into the display unit where it says measure. And then I power the display unit from the MBUS port coming off of the MRS one. As a final step, I unplug the focus motor and plug it into the display unit. Turn it on. There you have it. These systems come with a one-year warranty directly from MoveCam. You can update the software using the mini SD card slot at the top of the controller. You can also shoot in 3D by locking together two systems on two separate cameras and shooting simultaneously. That's it from us at MoveCam. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on Twitter, Facebook, or our website. Thanks for watching.